Question six. William wants to travel to Paris by train. He needs to arrive in Paris by 5.30 p.m. Circle the latest time that William can leave London. Now, what we need to do here is understand that that 5.30 p.m. is actually the same as 17.30 in 24-hour clock. So, we need to remind ourselves of where the 24-hour clock system comes from. So, at 1 a.m., which is when most of you are probably in bed, that is 0, 1, 100 hours on the 24-hour clock. 2 a.m. is 0, 200 hours. 3 a.m. is 0, 3, dot, dot, 0, 0. 4 a.m. is 0, 4. 5 a.m. is 0, 5. 6 a.m. is the sixth hour of the day. 7 a.m. is the seventh hour of the day. 8 a.m. is the eighth hour of the day. 9 a.m. is the ninth hour of the day. 10 a.m. is the tenth hour of the day. 11 a.m. is the eleventh hour of the day. 12 p.m. Now, it, this is an important one. At 12 p.m., it switches from a.m. to p.m., and that is actually midday. So midday is when it becomes 12 p.m., and that's the twelfth hour of the day. But 1 p.m., if you follow the pattern, that's the 13th hour of the day. 2 p.m. is the 14th hour of the day. 3 p.m. is the 15th hour of the day. Continuing over here, 4 p.m. is the 16th hour of the day. 5 p.m. is the 17th hour. 6 p.m. is the 18th hour. 7 p.m. is the 19th hour. 8 p.m. is the 20th hour. 9 p.m. is the 21st hour. 10 p.m. is the 22nd hour. 11 p.m. is the 23rd hour. And as you can see, 12 a.m. would actually be the 24th hour of the day because there are 24 hours in a day. But once we get to uh, 12 a.m., we've got back to the beginning. And instead of putting 24, we actually put, we actually start again and put 0, 0, dot, dot, 0, 0. So on a 24-hour clock, as soon as it hits 12 a.m., we start again. That's when we start counting. And that is um, midnight. So... Some people often get midnight and midday mixed up. Midday is 12 p.m. and midnight is 12 a.m. So back to the question, what's the, he needs to arrive in Paris at 5.30 p.m. Well, 5.30, 5 p.m. is 17, 5.30 is 17.30. So 17.30... Well, this train is no good because that's 1753. He would be late. 1853 is even after that. 1920 is after that. So 530 or 1730 is only four minutes after this train arrives in Paris. 1726. Okay. So the latest time he can leave London is 1401 that's the one we need to circle because if he leaves london at 1401 which is one minute past two it's down here for there's 14 which is two o'clock in the afternoon so 1401 is one minute past 2 p.m then he'll get to paris at 1726 which is 26 minutes past five in the afternoon and he will have four minutes to spare because he needs to be there by half past five. So 26 minutes past five is okay. He's got four minutes to spare.